For today's unique story of Road Sign Americana, I'm in Lincoln, Mass, a small bucolic if somewhat quirky town of about 6,000 people, 15 miles west of Boston. On a small pasture of land here in Lincoln sits a collection of broken down rocking horses, plastic ponies, and other assorted horse toys. Lincoln was incorporated as a separate town in 1754. It's respectful of its history, protective of its open space, and encourages the open-mindedness of all of its people. Paul Revere, yeah, that Paul Revere, was captured by the British in Lincoln in 1775, and five British soldiers who fell during battle here in Lincoln are buried here in the Lincoln Cemetery. During the Revolutionary War, the British coined the divisive term Yankee to refer to New Englanders and their puritanical roots. Today we think of the term Yankee as a descriptor for inventiveness, for creativeness, and for self-reliance. And this is certainly a very good descriptor of Lincolners today. Nobody seems to know exactly how all these horses came to Lincoln, but the locals have grown extremely attached to this whimsical display of discarded ponies. Initially, this all started with a single horse. The owners of this field on Old Sudbury Road left a prop from a haunted house, a nearby haunted house on this field back in 2010. After that first horse appeared here in the field, things began to get a bit strange. All sorts of horses began to appear, rocking horses and hobby horses and toy horses, some with saddles, some with reins, and some with manes. Today there are about 45 horses here in this field. Individually, these horses with rusty springs, peeling paint, and mangy manes might be mistaken for trash. But taken together, they become an unusual collection. The arrangement not only grows, but it morphs too. Sometimes these horses are arranged in a circle, other times they're in rows like racehorses, and sometimes they're just knocked about. Nobody knows for sure who moves the horses, and that just adds to the charm. This place exists solely to make people happy. It provides solitude and inspiration. Some people call this a rocking horse graveyard, but I prefer the term ponyhenge, as it really remarks on the charm and uniqueness of this place. Henge is defined as a prehistoric monument of upright wooden or stone monuments. But I think a henge of toy horses suits the name just fine. The rocking horse first appeared in the 17th century as a toy for the children of mobility. In the Victorian era, they began to become mass produced, first in wood, then in metal, and finally in plastic. The owners of this property maintain this field. They mow the grass and every few years they call this herd, removing the derelict horses. If you do choose to visit, remember, this is private property and we're just their guests. Placing these broken down toys in a beautiful bucolic field here in Lincoln, Mass reminds me of the unrelenting passage of time. It also reminds me of a few of Lincoln's favorite sons. They might be giants. Well, that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please think about hitting that like button because that is how I measure my worth in this world. Take care and bye bye. Okay, there, Indiana, by the light switch. Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul Not to put too fine a point on it Say I'm the 